Hey, we're doing a little video today on cooking beaver. Okay, never did a video on it before. Um, thought it was kind of interesting. I caught a couple really call, really small kit beaver the day before yesterday. You can see I'm just using the hind quarters off of them, and I'm gonna slow cook them in a roaster pan wrapped in tin foil. So this is what I do. I start out. I got a bowl here, butter flavored olive oil. Who doesn't like butter flavored anything, right? Me. Top out of it there. I'm gonna spread a little bit of this on the beaver. What I want to do is I want to actually coat, coat the beaver in the olive oil. Get, it, get a real good coating on it there. Okay, this is the best part. My wife is not going to like it. Will you, dear? No. Depends. I don't know what you're doing. And then some seasoning. I have Louisiana Cajun seasoning, and this is my favorite seasoning salt, Johnny's Seasoned Seasoning Salt. Oh, slick hands. There we go. And what we're we'll do is, I'm just going to spread it on the beaver pretty liberally too. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to put just a little tiny bit on there. All right. I have a pan there, I got it on high. I'm just gonna I'm gonna sear I'm gonna sear these hind quarters a little bit. Let me stop it. Pop. Alright, I got these. There we go. Throw that in there quick. I have a small roasting pan coated with tin foil here. And actually, it's, it's heavy duty tin foil. And I got a double wrap. All I'm doing here is just trying to sear the meat a little bit to seal in some of that flavor. Being that the beaver is kind of awkwardly shaped, you're not going to be able to get all the corners on it, which is fine. That one in the roasting pan. The other one in here. Mm. Now these beaver hind quarters here, I caught them two days ago. I skinned them out and I actually soaked them in a bowl of salt water just to take some of the gamey flavor out.
Okay, so I have both hind quarters in this roasting pan now. And what I have here is I have two cups of onion soup, like bullion. Um, I actually like to mix it strong. And I'm just going to pour it over this, these two roasts here. I have my tin foil. What I'm going to do is and get these both these edges up. And get these edges together. And I'm going to roll them up real good. I don't want, I want that to seal up really nice and tight. There we go. Okay. So I have my oven. It's preheated to 325 degrees, and I'm going to cook these for about six hours at that temperature. Okay. I'm going to place them there. So roughly around 6, 37 o'clock, I'm going to come back and take that out of the oven. Um, I'm also going to get some vegetables ready for you here. You can stop it now. So these are my vegetables. I have... It's just it's five right now. You know, if you you know, it's me and my wife and my little girl. She's seven, eating tonight. But I have five potatoes that I just cubed up. I always use my favorite ones are the are the Yukon Golds. I think they have the best flavor personally. Um, just cube them up, put them in a bowl. I have some white onion here. I'm gonna spread that around there a little bit. Baby carrots. Put some baby carrots around in there. Oh, like so. That should be plenty. Um, little tiny. This is just a little, a little bit of olive oil on these. Probably should have grabbed a bigger bowl. Mix these around a little bit. Got my seasoning salt here again. I'm gonna try to mix this up real good. Knock my potatoes on the oven. Whatever I can do to make this go a little more difficult for myself. Should have laid them all out on the foil, shook them, oiled them, and then shook them all up in the foil. Yeah, then I would have shook them all over the floor. I don't want to do that. No. Anyway, so there I have all my vegetables. I'm just going to dump them into the foil here. And I always put a I always put a bunch of butter in there. I don't even know exactly how much I would say. I always just put a couple big globs of butter in there, but like that, that's gonna heat up and cook and go down. And it's all gonna kind of simmer in there and suck up the flavor. It's about six tablespoons. Take my tin foil here, and these vegetables here. They uh. They are not going in the oven right now. These vegetables are going to go in the oven two hours before the rope, or before the beaver itself is ready. So it takes them two hours to cook at the 225 degrees. Yeah, like that. Make sure that's sealed up good on both ends. All right, there it is. Um, I'm going to go fishing. And my of course. wife is going to put these in the, <laughs> the oven around four o'clock and then once everything's all done we're gonna pull it out open it up show you guys what it looks like probably eat some let you know how good it tastes so we'll see you guys then all right we're back here got our beaver roast and our potatoes let us see how it all turned out All right. 
into a full layer. There's our potatoes or our vegetables right there. Look at that. All seasoned. Nice and soft. See all the butter down there? Onions are nice and soft too. Mmm. -mm. Okay. Now we'll open up the beaver here. Ooh, that smells good. Oh. There, oh, look at this. Look at that, folks. Oh, ho, ho. I bet this is going to fall. Look at that. That is going to fall right off the bone. See that? Ho, ho. I'm going to try a bite here. And you can, I mean, you can see it literally falls off the bone. It's going to be hot. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, that is hot. That is so good. Mmm. I mean, you can see it. It is fall off the bone, good folks. Well, that's uh, that's how I one of the ways I like to cook beaver. There's this top one, there's this bottom one down there. Another good way to cook it, and I'll do a video on that here one of these days soon. Is Take the hind quarter of one large beaver. Take the hind quarter of one large beaver and uh, put it in a crock pot. So we'll uh, we're gonna shut the video off. And we're actually gonna enjoy our supper, and we'll see you guys out of my trap line. Thanks for watching.